M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Yaesu FT710. Let's take a look at my settings for FT8 using WSJTX because I've had a lot of people message me about this and I get it because it took me a while to get this working again myself. So it's, it's working now, you can see I've had a few contacts if you look there. I think I've had three contacts if we enable the TX uh, just here. Now I have set the on the radio, I've set the meter to ALK. So if you tap the meter when it stops transmitting, it's transmitting right now. And we just tap the meter, just get this in view. And you'll see I've selected ALC because you want it when it transmits to, to, to be very low on the ALC. So let's look at my different settings on the radio and the WSJTX. So on the radio, we've tapped here, and I'm not sure how clear you're seeing this, but we tap here, because I know there's presets, but they didn't work for me. So I'm, I'm uh, let me just tap here, look. So data U, okay? Now you can press preset and it will use uh, what Yesu have put in there for you, you know, with all the FT8 settings, but they didn't work for me. So all I've done is tapped it, data U, and then we've selected 7.074 at the moment. 40 meters, but we do have cat control. In the settings, it's went function, radio set, and when you're in SSB at the top here, I just went down and selected, I've got it on you, mod source when it's mode SSB highlighted, I've got it USB, okay? Mod source USB. It's pretty much all I set really. Of course, I've got my tuner on, I've set the power, if you press function, to just 20 watts and my minus DB, DB level is five uh, because I'm using the 3DS display. But you can see it's transmitting right now. So going down, let's have a look at my WSJTX settings and on my computer, if you right click, the drivers are there from Yay, so I'll put the link in the description. If you right click on your Windows, right click, Device Manager, okay, and just scroll down here to Ports, double click where it says Ports, and you're seeing that I've got two listed, uh, Silicon Labs CP2105. I always choose the top one, so COM6, COM6, and also right click, properties, and I go in and I've set it to 384000. That's what works for me. Okay, close that down. So now if we go to WSJTX settings, go file, settings. Keep this down here. And I just want to make sure you can see all this. When you go into general tab, okay, I've got my call sign IO81, which is my grid square. And I've ticked a few extra boxes here because I've got grid tracker running in the, you know, it's not fired up at the moment, but anyway. So I've ticked, you can see there, the first miss one, then four boxes, miss one, three boxes. That's what I've ticked. Then we go to radio, Yesu FT710. Here and COM6, but 38400. And you know, if you've done it right, and I've got CAT selected here as well, but this, this doesn't really matter. This COM here, just select CAT. You know, when it starts to work, because the test CAT goes green. Yeah, if that goes green, you, 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 you're doing something right. If it doesn't, then there's something wrong. It's just a normal micro USB cable. Sorry, not micro, uh, it's a printer style. Uh, cable, get a good quality one, Wants to, needs to be data. Let me just show you what that looks like. There you go, and this was literally like four pound, and it's working fine. There is some pickup on the lead, so keep the lead as short as possible. And if you've got some ferrite rings, wrap it in ferrite rings, and you should be able to reduce that. My problem is that my, my lead's sort of going over mains and things like that, so it's never gonna help, is it? So anyway, back to WSJTX and uh radio now audio it just says so this is the audio tab across the top 
micro USB audio device. That's all it says. Speaker USB audio device. I haven't changed the settings um, in my actual computer, although you can. Uh, let's get all these windows back up. Like so. Come on then. Right, finally. So you can see I'm not getting a contact now. I'm just going to halt it for a bit. Uh, Tune is on 20 watts. And it will auto once you click enable TX, it starts to auto do it. But in this section here, I just right click and go set TX offset. And I just look for a gap. That's all I do. Uh, I don't actually use FTA much. I just don't. Uh, there's no reason for that. Uh, so we've got the file settings general. You've seen radio FT70. Audio, you can see what that is, and then I think in the reporting just for grid square, look, see what I've ticked here. The top one, clear DX, enable PSK reporter. These three. So if I do, I haven't turned on grid square yet, but let's turn it on just for the sake of it. Grid grid tracker, not grid square. Let that fire up. So the way I do it, I've got the power set here. If you look here. You can see, let's see, make sure I'm not in the way. Yeah, just here it says power. I slide that up and down if the ALC, when it transmits, is too high. That's pretty much all I do. You can, I think, adjust either the speaker or mic if you want. Uh, so let's just get it TXing again. Enable TX. It's funny how it started good and then, and then went not good. <laughs> so enable TX and just look at the ALC when it does transmit. So when you enable TX, the green bar at the bottom fills uh, and then it goes into TX and you'll see that the my LC is low, but we are seeing an FTA signal on screen and red TX there. So we know it's TXing. And I mean, the conditions have been very weird the last few weeks, all to do with the sunspots. And I find with this kind of software, if it doesn't work straight away, just reboot everything and uh, it tends to help. Um, so yeah, slide the power up and down. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Grid tracker, there it is. There. Uh, again, something I haven't used very, you know, for a while. Sorry about that. <laughs> Funny, but there's grid tracker there. And uh, you can see it goes into receive, and you can zoom in. Let me just minimize this. If I can get the window to open. Watch some YouTube videos. I have done a video on. Oh, I've got a contact there. Let me just show you with grid square. If you zoom in where you are, you can actually see there's one there. Look, you can see the contacts and it's, there's so many settings here. Look, receive, transmit, the frequency, 40 meters. You could click these windows for different views. Recenter map. Look. And what's that one there? Let me just go through and just click them all. You know, have a bit of fun. So let me just, you know, and you, if that, even if that's worldwide, you'll see the lines going across worldwide. But you can see someone's talking to me there from, ooh, there it looks like they're in the middle of the sea. That's interesting. F4 EMG, France, I guess. So click OK. That's the little contact window you get when you get a contact. So it is working. You can see the proof is in the pudding. Now uh, there's your contact. And then at the end of it, I just click enable TX again. Now I'm trying to make sure I haven't forgotten to give you any settings. It works for me. I know there's a PDF on my Facebook page with settings in it, but I find just this worked and I think the proof is in the pudding really. And we haven't had to use any other intermediate trees like Ham Radio Deluxe or uh, there's, there's a few programs in there. Um, this is just USB cable straight from the radio to my PC, Windows 10 or 11, I'm on Windows 11. And you can see we're getting contacts. We're going into this, putting the radio to transmit and it does change the frequency. Uh, I don't want to change it now in case we get contact, but. If you click here on the drop down, if I go to 
it changed well it decided not to change that time but it did just now there you go second time round, it actually did change so let me just show you that a couple of times show it changing so with the drop down list on the left we go they are 80 meters 20 megahertz well oh look at that wow the condition crazy um just something's going on isn't it uh back to 40. so we've got four rig control we're transmitting we're getting contacts now you've seen the settings give it a go come on and for those people that say it's not real radio well i'm having fun call it what you like seven three